welcome back to our channel guys today we have a packed episode covering some groundbreaking developments in the indian defense sector from advanced warships to international military collaborations and cutting edge missile systems so let's begin first up india is set to build some of the most advanced warships ever the ministry of defense is likely to approve a whopping 70000 crore for constructing stealth guided missile frigates these warships will feature radar absorbent coatings and low observability making them less detectable by enemies the project will split between two yards grse in kolkata and mdl in mumbai ensuring timely delivery these frigates will have high indigenous content including brahmos cruise missiles and advanced electronic warfare systems this move will significantly benefit sub suppliers and vendors boosting the entire defense ecosystem next we shift our focus to the philippines which is looking to india for military modernization among maritime tensions with china the philippines is strengthening its defense ties with india ambassador josil francisco ignacio highlighted that defense cooperation extends beyond just equipment acquisitions india and philippines signed a 374.6 million deal for the brahmos anti-ship cruise missile in 2022 the first set of missiles and launchers was delivered in april 2024 the philippines aims to build its deterrent capabilities with India's support including military education and training. On the next move, the Indian Navy is also making waves internationally. The P-81 aircraft and the stealth frigates INS Shivalik are participating in the RIMPAC 2024 exercise at Pearl Harbor, Hawaii. This exercise involves 29 countries and aims to enhance interoperability and build trust among navies. INS Shivalik's participation follows its deployment in the South China Sea and the North Pacific Ocean, showcasing India's growing naval presence and cooperation with friendly foreign navies. In another significant development, INS Taba reached Germany to participate in a marine time exercise. This visit includes professional interactions, community service, and showcasing Indian culture. The exercise aims to strengthen bilateral relations and explore new avenues for defense collaboration between India and Germany. INS Tabar, equipped with versatile range of weapons and sensors, is part of India's Western fleet demonstrating India's commitment to global peace and security. Now moving on to the next news, the Indian Air Force is enhancing its Sukhoi 30 MKI fighter jets with software-defined radio SDR system. This upgrade will revolutionize communication and situational awareness, improving the aircraft survivability and missions effectiveness. Part of a broader modernization plan, this upgrade includes new radars, mission control systems, and weapon systems. With a 60,000 crore project led by HAL and DRDO, India is pushing for self-reliance in defense manufacturing. Lastly, Armenia has shown interest in acquiring India's Prelay missile system to counter the Israeli origin LoRa system used by Azerbaijan. If this deal goes through, it would bolster DRDO's image as a missile exporter and strengthen Armenia's defense capabilities. The Prelay missile with a range up to 500 kilometers offer Armenia a viable defense option, enhancing its regional security dynamics. That's all for today's update. India's defense sector is making significant strides from advanced warships and international collaboration to cutting-edge missile systems. Stay tuned for more updates on these stories and other important defense news. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel for more in-depth analysis and coverage. See you next time. Jai Hind!